Hey guys, it's Heather from Kell of a Plan and today I'm going to be playing with my new Traveler's Notebook from Planners Anonymous. This was a special add-on to her last kit and she sent it to me and I've never done like anything with a Traveler's Notebook. The only time I've ever done anything was at Go Wild. Um, the, we got Traveler's Notebooks from the Planner Society but they were a lot smaller than this one. They were like this big and we only kind of played with it for a little bit and then I stuck it on my shelf. So I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm really excited to try. So if you're watching this video because you want to get ideas on how to use a traveler's notebook, <laughs> might not be the best video. This is going to be more of a video just of me kind of playing around and exploring with it and just kind of um, getting used, getting used to it. So um, this does not normally come with the kit, so I want to throw that out there, but I did show everything that comes in the normal kit. I'll link that video below in case you want to check that out. Um, and then this, again, was a special add-on, but I'm going to be using the coordinating kit to kind of set it up and decorate it. And I may even try to make, like, another notebook to put in here, because I think that's what you do. I don't really know. I've literally never done anything with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is this little pocket right here fits her cards perfectly and there was a card that I really loved so I'm going to stick that in there it says these boots are made for planning and I think that is so cute so you I'm just gonna slide that right in because that is so cute I love that and so that's the first thing I'm gonna do and then I thought it would be fun and kind of cute to take some of these die cuts and maybe decorate the cover of this first notebook. I think that's what people do. Again, I really have no idea. Um, I've never done this before. So should I put her? Maybe I should take this out so that it doesn't quit, keep opening like that. So. Yeah, let's scoot this over and we're gonna do just the notebook and we have these die cuts. I don't really know what these are. I think these are just petals. I don't want petals. So we're gonna put the, that away. And then, what else? The boots are cute. We got some sunflowers like this. Is it weird to put sunflowers when there's already a sunflower there? I may save that and put it in here. So I'm thinking it would be cute to put that there. And then maybe the puppy dog. Mm. Actually, I think I may just put her there. I think she's kind of cute just by herself. So I'm just going to grab my Tombow tape runner to tape her down. like that. Now, since June is already kind of halfway over, um, and I, I think I'm going to set this up for July. That way it gives me kind of a couple of weeks to kind of really figure out exactly how I want to use it before I actually have to use it. Where's my black? There it is. So I am just going to let her July and I don't know how often I'll actually use this because I've never done it before but if I set it up for July that just gives me a little time to kind of play around with it and figure it out maybe watch some YouTube videos I don't even know if this is what you're supposed to write here but I feel like with a traveler's notebook, it's really about making it work for you. I think she's so cute. Okay, so then we open this up and we've got all of these stickers, all of these goodies. I'm thinking that these would be really cute, kind of layered and then I could trim it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And 
And then I can use my scissors to trim off the extra. Pretty, but it looks like a frame so I don't know if I should be putting oh that looks cute I like this one you can kind of center it be your gorgeous blooming self And then we could layer. Hmm. Like a flower. That's really cute. Okay, and so then. I feel like I kind of need to open up these stickers because there could be stickers that I need to use. This is the add-on sticker kit. Okay. I'm gonna put that over there. I also think I'm gonna kind of bold this a little bit more. I almost wish I had just gotten a normal brush marker out, but I didn't. Like, I don't know what I want to put here, but I really like this page. Maybe like important dates or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay, so now I kind of need July starts on a Sunday. July starts on a Sunday. So this will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And there are 31 days. So that means we're gonna have to do this and put 30. Do this and put 31. Okay. So This is, I feel like with this traveler's notebook, um, this obviously I don't think it's gonna turn into like my normal planner because I love happy planners. But it's kind of fun because you literally like create what you want your planner to be. So that's, I mean, that's kind of fun. And I love this kit coordinates with the planner because it's so easy to make it work. Okay. Let's look at these, because now I feel like... It 
could be cute. To add in some florals. Kind of like that. So I kind of really like that floral there. And I'm kind of thinking it would be cute to put another one over here, but let it hang off the page again and trim it. Okay. So now I really wanted to say July 2018 on the top, really big. So I am going to use my Papermate Flare to letter it. July and I just want it to be really bold 20 18 okay and for those of you who like this lettering I do have some lettering videos on my channel there's if you go to the playlist I have them all in a playlist so that you can just go and watch them all at once and you don't have to search for them. July. Twenty eighteen. That's really cute. So now, is this what people do with these? I've never used these before in a kit, but I think that what you can do do you put them on the side like this? I think that's what you do. If you can't tell, I really have no idea. Um, <laughs> if you are a traveler notebook guru, you were probably watching this and just laughing at me. But if you've never done traveler's notebooks, then I hope that this video, um, you know, I'm not saying you need to use a traveler's notebook because I don't know that I'll use one that often. But I hope it at least shows you that it's okay to try it. So now I put that little divider there and then I'm just gonna write, I kind of wish I'd written this before. It says monthly. And then you can just flip to the month. That's pretty cute. And then you could do week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, or maybe better actually, that'd be a lot of tabs. So I think in here, it would be cute just to put tracker. So I'm gonna go ahead and write tracker this time, because it's kind of hard. I'm not gonna set up those um, weeklies right now because that's just, I feel like that's really overwhelming and too much to do for this video because this video is probably already getting a little bit long. Okay, so here, I wanna kind of try to line it up. Or it will be even. And then, boom, like that. So then on the side, you see monthly, and then tracker, you can flip to the tracker. That's cute. And then here, let's see how we could decorate this.
I really have no idea. Um, Cause like that would take up part of the room of the tracking. Could we put some boots? These boots are made for walking. That's just what they'll do. One of these days these boots are gonna walk all over you. I know that song. Ah, oh, you do now. I'm gonna put them just like that. Things to track. Bible study. Water intake. Gym. And I don't know what the other ones will be. I'll have to come up with them. I feel like these are like begging for quotes to be put on top of them. Be still my country loving heart. Um, sunset is my favorite color. Add a little sunshine to your day. And What more could a girl need? That's really cute. Okay, these are just, oh, these are to-do lists. Are they? It, I guess it's grid paper. So you can kind of do whatever you want with those. Be you and bloom. Okay, so I think that here, I'm gonna put another one that says notes. notes and then I think I'm gonna do one more here that says moments or memory maybe memory can incorporate some memory planning I definitely can see kind of the pros to travel notebooks because it's really kind of fun to just make it totally your own it's a lot of work. I don't think I could do it all the time, but it's kind of fun to just turn it into exactly what you need in a planner. I kind of like that. That's really fun. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do with them. Maybe I was supposed to put them on the top. It probably doesn't really matter. And then here, I'm going to decorate these kind of like I did that first section. That would be really cute right there. But that would be really cute too. I got like that. And then you can kind of layer that up there like that. And then what did I do for that first part? Oh, that's really cute. So back here, be a sunflower, stand still and look for the light. I think that's really cute right there. And then, 
could even layer another sunflower on top. Okay, so I'm going to keep playing with this because it's kind of fun, but I know that this video is also getting kind of long. So we're going to go ahead and put this back in the notebook just so you can kind of see how that works. So you open it up to the middle and you pull one of the strings up and you just slide it in like so. And then you have it in your traveler's notebook and you can fit several notebooks in there. Like there's two right now. I bet you could fit at least four if not five so that's just the first one and it it came with two at least mine did I think they were only supposed to come with one but I got two and so anyway that was really fun I really enjoyed it I'm gonna keep playing around with it and just see how I can keep making it my own um, if you like this video definitely hit the like button if you want to see more of my videos hit the subscribe button and if you want to check out the planners anonymous kits then be sure to um, look at the information in the description on how you can order your own. So thanks for watching. Happy planning.